Hey, how you doing? Uh, I want to show you something here in this video. We've all heard of somebody saying that they've seen an object that uh, was flying through the air and then it broke up into two or three different objects and started flying around. Well, what I'd like to do in this video is uh, give you a visual on how that's possible. Now, this object here looks solid. But I think it's made up of maybe two, three different objects. Now this here is a uh, screen grab of the video. And this here and this one here, I assumed when I took the video or when I first saw it before I took the video actually, were just uh, strobe lights on the wingtips of an aircraft because then there was, you know, the strobe going on in the bottom and then this unit on the top but it looked really out of place and with this particular filter here you can kind of see plasma or what appears to be plasma to me and then magnetic resonance going on which I believe is binding these different orbs together now I didn't get to see this thing come apart and go together but I have heard such tales right of people saying they saw something break up into different parts now this is the uh, video from the DARPA or alien technology video that I did here a while back and I uh, started putting the uh, screen grabs through different filters I'll do a slowed down version of this thing here so you can kind of get a better look at the object going through the air <clears throat> now what these screen grabs put through different filters is when it really starts coming to light how this uh, breaking up and coming back together might be possible now this here is when it was a little bit farther away this is not through a filter this is just an original screen grab and you can see the unit on the bottom it's not lit up that tells me it's not a strobe on an aircraft because they're either on or off. Now this is the object itself, a screen grab of it. And if you look close, you can kind of see maybe three or four different pieces there. Here it is with its strobe going off on the bottom. It's kind of changed positions on the top, changed shape, obviously. Reminds me of the gimbal video, that little dangling thing down there on the bottom that the Navy put out a while back. Now this here is where it starts getting interesting. Like I said, the video is not all that great, but you can start sort of seeing on the inside here. Now if this stuff's made out of a, a quasi-particles or a metamaterial, which I don't claim to understand, it just means something I'm not familiar with. You look at that. You can see on the inside of this thing here almost a coil or a magnetic resonance going through whatever this stuff's made out of. You know what I'm saying? Now if you're at a distance and you know how to scalar waves work, you can program and control whatever these things are would be my assumption because it doesn't look like they're getting around on their own in other words there's no you know obvious uh, propulsion system there's no uh, means of support as in uh, wings or anything else like that so this material has got to be under control from somewhere else and if it's made out of material that's going to respond to scalar waves it uh it makes sense to me because you can magnetically take something apart and put it back together provided it's made out of the right material i mean there it looks like a solid object without a doubt so i'm thinking whoever knows how to do this could probably make that look any way they want and fly it around now what I'm seeing here, uh, you know, I'm not a scientist, obviously, but what I'm, 
I think I'm seeing here, okay, are a break in magnetic fields through this uh, unit right here. It might just be, you know, light breaking up that way, but the more I look at this, the, the less I believe that's true. I just don't think it's a, you know, a standard strobe of any kind. I think it's something entirely different. And the only way that I could see that it would be possible is, you know, uh, with uh, quasi particles and uh, some kind of magnetic uh, resonance that's, you know, like I said, being controlled with uh, scalar waves, possibly from a distance. So I just hope those uh, internal visuals give you some kind of idea, you know, what other people might be looking at when they're seeing this stuff happening, how it's uh, possible for one unit to break up into, you know, several different units and and fly around so anyway that's my my guess at it so thanks for having a look and uh, do take care